All right, welcome. In this video, we're going to be working AB number five from the 2023 AP Calculus uh, free response. And this one is, I think, just going to be, yeah, some derivative integral type questions. I really like this. Oh, no. What's going on here? All right, we're back. So I'm going to be finding h prime of seven okay, in part A. So for part A, I guess I'll just work that up here. h prime of x. Okay, I need to take the derivative and I need to use the chain rule, but this is, could not be more direct. Okay, f prime of g of x times g prime of x for the chain rule. It's one of those rules we just gotta know. And then h prime of seven will equal f prime of g of seven times g prime of seven. And I can look up some of these things like g of seven is equal to zero f prime of zero times g prime of seven was equal to eight. Okay, so this is equal to f prime of zero was three halves times eight, and you know you can call that 12 if you want, but you can just walk away with three halves times eight because that's an equivalent representation. All right, so k is a differentiable function, so say k prime is given by f of x squared times g of x. So the graph of k concave up or concave down at the point where x equals four, and so we're gonna have to check the sign of k double prime. A with b, k double prime, I'm um, wondering if I'm gonna have enough room to do this. All right, so the derivative of two f of x would be two times f of x times f prime of x. We're doing the product rule, so we're gonna leave g of x the same. And then we're gonna add in, leaving f of x squared the same, taking the derivative of g. So that would be g prime of x. So I'm it's still visible to you. And so we're gonna test the value of k double prime of four, because they're asking if it's concave up or concave down at x equals four. So that's going to be two times f of four times f prime of four times g of four plus f of four squared times g prime of four. This is a good problem here. This one I'm very likely to use on a test next year in my class, I think. So I'm um, this point we're just going to need to look up some numbers 2 times f of 4 2 times 4 f prime of 4 was 3 and g of 4 is equal to negative 3 plus f of 4 squared f of 4 is equal to 4 times g prime of 4 is 2 and again we're not going to simplify this because that would be a waste of time right we could spend that time working on another more difficult problem oh but outside of, you know, just taking a wild guess, we haven't answered the question, is it concave up or concave down? So I do need to simplify this. All right, so I've got negative nine times eight is negative 72. Plus four squared times two is 16 times two is 32, which is less than zero, so I conclude concave down. And it's really important though that we, uh, you know, have put that less than zero there, because that's really the reason. Um, not because the derivative, second derivative is negative 40, it's just the fact that the second derivative is negative. All right, so that was b. c is gonna be something to find by an integral. All right, well, we can do this. Find m of two. Okay, this was not as difficult as it looked. So m of two is gonna equal five times two to the third, plus the integral from zero to two of f prime of t dt. So I'm just going to leave 5 times 2 to the third the way it is. And then f prime of t dt's antiderivative, that would be f of t. So this is going to be f of 2 minus f of 0. So maybe I'll take a risk and say that 2 to the third is 8. Because uh, f of 2 minus f of 0 is going to be 7 minus 10. So plus 7 minus 10. And that'll be enough for part C. Okay, I was wondering if they were going to have you take the derivative of this, because there really wasn't one of those in the graph of the derivative type questions, where we took the derivative of a function defined by an integral. And I'm kind of realizing that it's strange that that wasn't on BC either at all in the pre-response, so it must have been pretty heavy in the, in the multiple choice. So for part D, is M increasing, decreasing, or neither? All right, so we're just going to find M prime of X and plug in two. M prime of X would be 15 X squared plus, and then if I'm taking the derivative of that integral, it was just gonna be f prime of x. Oops, let's say 15x squared plus f prime of x. 
and m prime of 2, which is what we're interested in, is 15 times 4 plus f prime of 2, which I mean, can't be that big, right? Okay, negative 8, so 15 times 4 is 60, minus 8 is a positive number, so I'm going to say increasing. And that's all for number 5, so I guess thanks for watching.